how to create animated NFTs and how you can turn moving GIFs into NFTs as well. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can turn your GIFs, how you can create a GIF and how you can turn that into an NFT. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to Photoshop now open your Photoshop. We're basically going to be creating an animated GIF from the scratch. So I'm going to be telling you how to create a GIF. And how then once you've done that, you can then turn it into an NFT. So once your Photoshop has been opened, this is the image that I created that I have opened. I tried making one. So I thought, why not experiment it and while, I'll, while create a video as well. So this is the image right here. Let me just put this down. So this is the image right here. I made a couple of images before, but let's just say like this is it. So what I want you guys to do is create a new layer. So once you have imported a image, then you all you have to do is create a new layer. So come over here at the top, you will have all these different options. So click on layer and over here, click on duplicate layer. And yeah, so this, as you can see, it's been duplicated. Let's do it one more time. Or no, we can just remain these two actually. Yeah, let's just remain these two. So let's move this back down over here and move this up, move this up and move this back down. So this is going to be our first layer and this is going to be our second layer. So this is going to be our first layer and this is going to be our second layer. So then what I want you guys to do is just simply select the layer and come over here at the top. Now you can add in different features to it to make it different. So basically you can like add in different filters or you can change up the colors a little bit and stuff like that. But you know, basically you're making a GIF. So it's like a short form video, but in a loop. So in videos you have frames. So basically you have pictures, you have moving pictures that make a video. So it's going to be similar, but not quite. So what I want you guys to do is just select the layer and then come over here on to filters. And this is the easy way. This is what I do. Just add in different filters. So you can add in a blur effect, distort it, create noise, pixelate, render, sharpen, and stuff like that. I'm going to go over here on pixelate and I'm going to choose which one I like. Let's go with the mosaic. Um, and over here you can like enter in cells as well. So it's going to be like this so let's add in 10 cells so as you can see this is how it looks this is how it was so this is the second layer and this is the first layer as you can see this is the look button we can check it out so now that you have created this what i want you guys to do is create a frame let's create a basically timeline and how you can do that is come over here on windows and then down below you will see timeline so click on timeline and then what I want you guys to do is just select create frame animation and click on it. Now, once you have done that, this is going to be your frame number one and frame number one, we want layer number one. Next, what we want to do is create a new layer, basically duplicating it. And what we can do is we can add in the second layer. So if we play it, it'll look something like this. Now it's pretty fast. So what I want you guys to do is slow it down a little bit. Let's select the first layer create another one and then select. Yeah, I think that's it. So first layer is going to be like this. Second layer is going to be like this. And what I want you guys to do is add in a third one and put it in the normal way, then add another one. Now, once we play it, as you can see, it slowed down a little bit and you can add in different effects to it. Now I'm just showing you the basics so that you can get to it. So this is how you basically make a GIF. Now you can add in different images. You can add in, you can move the image up and down in different frames. So it'll look like it's going up and down. For example, if I have this one over here, I'll move it a little bit up and this one, I'll move it a little bit down. So this one, I'll move it a little bit up as well. And if I play it, as you can see, it's going up and down as if it's, you know, changing. So that's how it basically looks like. So you can do different things to it if you want, but it depends upon all your creativity. You can add in, you can change in different colors and stuff like that. I'm just going to restore it back to normal. Is it moving? No, it's okay. It's, everything is fine. You, you can add in a small watermark at the top or down below by 
adding by using the text tool uh, you can do a lot of things and many many more it depends upon your creativity so once you have done that what we want to do is export it now to export it come over here on to file and down below you will have uh export option over here click on it and then down below you will have save for web as in legacy so click on this one and then over here as you can see we have some different names so this is going to be the preset you can leave it on un uh, unnamed it doesn't matter and then down below what you want to do is change the format to gif so you can see we have jpeg we have pngs we have wbmps but we want to keep it at gif and what and then once you have done that just click on save once you click on it save your file in whatever form you want so i'm going to go in whichever folder you want so i'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and go inside and click on save wait a couple of seconds and it's safe let's go ahead and check it out some pictures save new folder this is the one right here let's let's test it out and as you can see it's changing it's playing it's in the gif form so that's that now that we have our gif we have our animation we can now make it into an nft so next come over to google and type in rareable and this is going to be the website and we're going to be uploading our nft on this website so as you can see they, they uh, do a lot of gif nfts as well as you can see over here these are some of the popular ones and if you scroll down below we have a lot more so we can see that this is the perfect place for gif nfts so let's go over here at the top so over here to create an account come over here on to sign up option and then over here you can just go ahead and sign in with metamask and if you already have an account basically if you know a little bit about nfts and stuff like that then you know you need to have a ethereum wallet or bitcoin wallet or stuff like that so that so it's important so i use metamask so if you you can just simply you know go over to their website and then just add in your extension onto the chrome browser and it's done it's basically done and yeah so simple as you can see i just clicked on this button uh the metamask came up and on now all i have to do is next and connect and as you can see it's connecting now all i have to do is accept with the terms and services and that's basically it i've signed up now all i have to do is just go ahead and create so i have a single one not a multiples so i'm going to go ahead and choose the file so now all you have to do is just simply choose the file you want to upload as you can see it's over here png gives web peep webp mp4s and stuff like that so let's just go ahead and choose our nf our gif this is the one over here choose it and as you can see it's chip playing as of right now and then what i want you guys to do is you can either select a fixed price a timed option or an open bid so let's just go for the fixed price and then down below let's just enter in our price let's just say it's worth at least zero point so it's worth 0 0.01 uh or let's just go ahead and place it 0 0.1 since it's an nft nfts go for a way more than this one so next what i want you guys to do is just you can also enter in the service fee as you can see the service fee is 0 0.25 percent of whatever this is so i think you have to pay it beforehand but we'll see about that later and then down below you have royalties basically royalties basically percentage uh you want to keep of this and then what I, what you want to do is you can enter in the title uh description and then royalties so enter in the title i'm gonna go ahead and enter in the mosaic so i just enter in the title mosaic skull and then down below you can enter in a many descriptions so whatever it is so i'm just gonna go ahead and write say it's a mosaic skull so that's basically it and then 10 percent royalties that's pretty cool and that's basically it once you have entered in all the details all you have to do is simply click on create an item and wait for a couple of seconds as you can see it's minting right now it's sending a transaction to our nfts once it's done that as you can see metamask is open all we have to do is just accept confirm it but as you can see uh i don't have i have insufficient funds so i can't basically provide the 2.5 percent fee that they are asking for which is 87 dollars so i have so i can't move on with this but if you have this type of money in your ethereum wallet you can just go ahead and confirm it it'll approve it and then it'll start minting and then all you have to do is just wait a couple of days 
for the buyer to come to approach you and then buy your nft and then that that is basically it as i said i can't move on from this point because i don't have any ethereum as of right now but you get the point so i think that's it for this video i think you get the gist of it you i just basically showed you how you can create a give and then upload it onto websites and turn it into nft so it's basic it just took me at least 10 minutes and i think you will be more creative so you'll it'll take you a little bit more time but i think that the more you spend your time on your creation the better it will be so having said that if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button so that I may know that you have enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I will be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.